Yeah. Yeah. Guys, you're gonna be famous on YouTube, so we're gonna put this on YouTube. Buddy, do you like the RC cars? Oh, you like the yeah. Cars? Yeah. And then we have one here. This one, uh, we put the electric starter on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we put the electric starter on it with the LED lights there. It's really nice. We just gave it a little tune up. It runs a lot better. It runs better now? Awesome. Cool. So there it is, you guys. Thank you for all Hey, you're welcome, man. Anytime. Cool. Thank you, guys. Take care. Pretty cool, huh? We're just out here. Uh oh, we're just out here running some cars. Um, it's probably like. I don't know, it feels like maybe minus, minus two or three, so it's getting a little colder, but perfect time to run the cars. So we're here with uh, Mr. Roger, who's one of one. Uh, Roger, this is one of one out of the whole world or just North? One, what, one of, okay. So this is one of one custom. Uh, I believe he said the chassis was made in uh, California. Uh, is that right, sir? California? All right, so California. Um, as you can see, this is using a, a Traxxas back end here. This looks like a Traxxas um, Revo? No, so not Revo, sorry, Slash. The, the Slash rear arms. Um, you got the Proline shocks. Uh, you could just put your electronics right in here. Boom, brushless, I would say. Uh, and it uses, I don't know what the, this front end is. It looks to me like if it was like almost a um, like almost a Tamiya, right? Like a Tamiya front end? I don't know. It looks Tamiya. Tamiya-ish. Um, but yeah, it looks awesome. It's called the little dune buggy and uh, all metal with the 3D printed seats on there that looks super, super, super nice. Very cool. So Mr. Roger, were you going to put some uh, brush lists on this or are you going to just brush Put brush system on it. Brushless? Yeah. I'm assuming uh, maybe like a 2S on this would be more than enough power. Um, it feels not as heavy as it looks, which is good for, for speed.
So, um, well, hey guys, welcome to another video here. We're at um, an amazing RC store, and we are with our friend uh, Franco, and uh, he actually built this uh, 114 scale uh, Tamiya truck. So um, he went with a. Um, hey, where did Franco go? Oh, you went to. Okay, was that his phone? Okay. Oh, Frank. Um, okay, so he'll be back in a second to talk to us about it. But uh, yeah, so here it is. This is the 114 skill Tamiya. Um, I believe this is one of uh, their later releases. Um, on the box itself, this uh, this tractor was painted like a uh, light. I think it's like a light gray. Um, or is it a gunman? Yeah. Okay, and uh, he went with the two tone. So he went with the red. This is Tamiya TS paint. Uh, the Tamiya TS paint. I believe it's the. Um, I don't know if it's the metallic or the Italian, the TS8. But yeah, so TS paint for these guys here. Um, it came out really, really nice. As you can see, the detail on this is pretty sharp. See, look at all this up here. It looks super nice. Um, stock wheels as well. He said that later on he might change these up to the aluminum ones, but they look nice in stock anyway. I would probably leave them. And uh, see the detail of the bins. In the back, the lights. He's going to be putting in a multi-function unit. Uh, the multi-function unit gives you all the, the lights for it, and it also gives you the sound um, and um, more realism with the vibration of the cab. So it's going to give it that nice realistic feel well yeah here it is it looks really good on both sides here look at the detail in the air tank it's very nice so this was a beautiful build um for... oh, okay sorry he's uh he'll be with us in a second <laughs> but yeah what do you guys think um one of my favorite bins is definitely for sure This looks epic. It looks really nice. Look at that. And also, what I like about it too is look at the space you got here. There's tons. Yeah, there's lots of space. Normally, there's not really that much, right? But this, because it's like a short, short cab up front, it yeah. uh, gives you a lot of room here. So, Franco, how long did it take you to build it? The actual truck? Uh, over a week. But hardcore week. Hardcore? Yeah. A couple like hours a day? More than that. More? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you see the trailer? <laughs> <laughs> looks hey, cool. It looks so good. Look at that. It's because the lights, the electric jack stands. It looks so nice. Thank you. 